Our first episode relates to something I do each and every trip, and that would be the pre-flight, if we were flying. But it's a walk around, given that we're driving. I hope you get something out of it, and I hope you enjoy. We're traveling in my bus. I call it Doc, and that's Doc Holiday, or Doc Hollywood, depending. And uh, we tag along uh, Betty White here. Uh, gotta have names for things, a little like naming pets. For my tag along, I've got this hip. Bounce up with the uh, crossbar. This is one formula. There are several. I tend to put the arms up on the crossbar. I uh, give you a place to rest them, hang them. There's enough play. You don't have to worry about whether or not you can get the pins. All hitched up. Pins, pins. Pins, pins. Cabling for our uh, stop lights and turn signals. Safety cable attached for our brake free emergency stop. All of that wired up and supported on the inside. Verifying everything. So we are good to go. On the inside of the car, I use a thing called a brake buddy. In older vehicles, this is the way to go. In newer vehicles, you have uh, the ability to tie them in with all of the existing. Uh, technology and not worry about it. Brake Buddy is meant to augment and or uh, engage the brakes of the car in order to assist in a stop. Um, particularly helpful in emergencies and or quick stop kinds of things. And I'll show you in a minute that once this thing is plugged in, the uh, air compressor's full and, uh, and it's ready to go, it does an interesting job by way of a simple tripping mechanism to to, uh, to engage your brake. All right, I've plugged it in, letting it charge up its air. I've chosen Betty White because she's a 2007. That year, particular year for this particular car model, uh, allows you and or has no limitations for how fast you can go and or if you can tow this thing in neutral. One of the toughest things is finding vehicles to tow in neutral. All right, so it's charged up. You give the brake, whatever unit it may be. I'm wrestling with the seat. Hold on, be back to you. But if you watch, when you test this, it literally engages your car brake. That's how it assists you in stopping the car-bus combination. Okay, the car is in neutral. I've installed a switch that leaves the accessory off, meaning you're not draining the battery, having things going ping, 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 ping. Uh, the brake buddy is in place. We have tested it. It works the way it should. And the emergency cables are hooked up. This thing lets you uh, um, have the brake buddy go into a full-on mode if the car were to break loose. Here's the interesting, the sensitivity. This decides whether the little swinging pendulum that allows this machine to work, um, how quickly or not it engages the brakes. So at this point, normally I do a bit of a walk around, make sure everything is as should be on the bus. We don't want uh, things falling down, coming apart. Hopefully everything works the way it should. Wheels, check out the sides and the slides. Make sure it all looks the way it's supposed to. Last but not least, we check the locking pins. I moved the bus forward. Come back here, here it is. Pin is up. Pin is up. Let's see how this thing works. The idea is they're both solid and are ready to go. We are all gassed up and we are ready to go.